In today's video, I'm going to introduce another one of our teachers. Her name is Lindsay. Hello, Lindsay, and where are you from? Hi, Chris. I'm from Glasgow in Scotland, but mm -hmm. now I live in Italy. And you tried to put on a posh voice for us. No, not knowingly, anyway. Mm -hmm. Just my, my usual Scottish accent. Okay, so tell us something interesting about your name. For example, why is it spelled differently to everybody else? Well, my mum said that she chose that particular spelling because in Scotland, Lindsay can be a surname and it can also be a name for a man. And this particular... And you're not a man. <laughs> no, I don't no. think so. Mm. Well, your <laughs> but boyfriend would confirm that. <laughs> mm. Hopefully. Mm. Um, but the particular spelling that I have uh, can only be used for a woman. And that's why my mum chose it. And it's mm. quite unusual in the Italian language, for example, because it has two Ys in the name. Ah, okay. Mm -hmm. so it's spelled L-Y-N-S-E-Y. -E in fact, you don't pronounce a D. It's not Lindsay. It's not Lind Lindsay. No, it's no. Lindsay. Lindsay. Okay. Lindsay. So we decided to ask Lindsay some questions about Scotland. The first question is from Kelly. Kelly, one of our staffers or one of our teachers, who's now in Sydney. She's abandoned us. But anyway, her question is, who is the most difficult to understand in Scotland? So for example, for the, for the accent. Who's the most difficult people to understand in Scotland? And, it's a long question from Kelly. Who, no, do, she wants to know, do you understand all Australians and South Africans? Or do you find them as difficult as they find Scottish people? That's a really interesting question. I and think long for, question as well, but, you know. for me personally, I find it quite easy to understand Australians. Mm -hmm. South African is a little bit more difficult. Mm. But I think that's possibly just because I haven't spent a lot of time with South African people. I've never been there. But you understand Kelly? I, I understand Kelly, yeah, yes. absolutely. Mm. Yeah, but uh, I find Australian a little bit easier to and understand. And we'll find out in a minute if she understands you. <laughs> um, what about in Scotland then? So which is the most difficult accent in Scotland, do you think? For us, because I'm not Scottish either, as you know. That's a good question. Maybe you'd be able to, maybe you'd be better to tell me that one, but for me personally, I think that the Highland accent is... Go on, give me an example most. of some accents and I'll tell you which one I don't understand. Okay, Glasgow. So if I was putting on a really strong Glaswegian accent, I'd say, all right, Chris, how's it going? My name's Lindsay and I'm Faye Glasgow. I'm Faye Glasgow? Faye Glasgow, yeah. Faye Glasgow. You Faye just changed your name to Faye Glasgow. <laughs> Faye Glasgow. Faye means from, I'm guessing. Faye means from, yeah, ah, exactly. Okay. Right, well, this one's quite easy. Apart from using weird words. Yeah. Another if I was one? putting on an East Coast Edinburgh accent, I would say, All right, Chris, I'm Faye Edinburgh. My name's Lindsay Like. <laughs> this like is everywhere. In fact, when I took some, we took some, a couple of years ago, I think it was, we took some students to Edinburgh. I understood nothing from the guy. The guy who collected yeah. us in the minibus, I was saying to the students, What's he saying? And every, every other word was like, and he finished his sentences with, Nay, nay. Yeah. It's called Ian, I think. Hi, Ian. Um, he's obviously not watching this because he's in Edinburgh. Okay, so <laughs> what about the Highland one, which you said, which is the most difficult? The Highland one. Oh, can I don't you know do if it? I can do that. Yeah, the hurry, hurry, hurry. Not Swedish. Hurl, hurling the haggis. Hurling the haggis, which is a sport in Scotland. Hurling the haggis. Ah, hurling the haggis. Okay. Tossing the caper. Caper? Caper. Another <laughs> Not sport. a caper. No, no, it's like okay. a really big Ah, the big stick. one. The big tree trunk, yeah, basically. A bit like the, the javelin, but you... But a lot uh, bigger. Yeah, a lot You do bigger. this every weekend? Yeah, absolutely. Also in yeah. Italy? Yeah. <laughs> Go and find Lindsay, she can show you how to throw a caper. No, caber. Caber. Caber, not a caper. Toss, not throwing toss any, in the caper. Not throwing any fruit. Food. No. Fruit. Okay, next question is from my father. Do you prefer Celtic or Rangers? And God knows why he's asking because I don't think he even understands what sport it is. It's just a question he wants to ask you. That is... A really difficult question because football is somewhat of a controversial I topic for, I didn't know either. for some people okay. in Scotland. Um, I don't really follow football but I'd say that most of my family support Rangers. Mm -hmm. um, and so you support Rangers because? Yeah, just because my granddad was a huge Rangers fan and when I went to school, everyone at school was a big Rangers fan and so on. But me personally, I don't I don't really follow football and get into the whole so dad, debate she, around she it. She doesn't care. Basically. <laughs> okay, next question. I think this is from my mum. Do you believe in the Loch Ness Monster? Absolutely. Everyone mm. in Scotland believes in the Loch Ness Monster. We have a Loch Ness fly flying around in the inner. We're, we've all seen that. Have you seen it? Seen, seen her. She's I said it because I didn't know if it was a boy or a yeah, girl. No, she's a she. she she's a she. Nessie, you have to call is. them they these days. <laughs> they are a they. Well, maybe. We don't know what she wants to identify as. Now we have so. to ask her. Mm. Yeah. But mm. um, yes, I do very much believe in, in Nessie, the Loch Ness Monster. And mm -hmm. uh, if you haven't been to Loch Ness, you should definitely go and check it out. What's it like? I've never been. Yeah. It's beautiful. Very, mm. very nice, quiet, beautiful scenery. Apart from the monster. Apart from the monster, yeah. But she's very friendly. Is she the only monster that you have? 
I guess you so. You personally, trying, the only one you think love. of another one. Maybe Nicola Sturgeon, but... Because <laughs> you said she looks like <laughs> Loch Ness Monster. No, 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 she doesn't look like the Loch Ness Monster. Ah, she, she looks like somebody else you said another. before. Ah, she looks like... Jeanette uh, Cranky. Cranky, yes, we Cranky. Jeanette Cranky, okay. Jeanette yeah. Cranky, she's called. I think so. I think so. Go and check, Jeanette, check out Jeanette Cranky. Yeah. Yeah. There's some comedians. The, the comedians, crankies, they think, yeah. They think they're funny anyway. Do you find them the funny? Crankies. Yes, I think. When I was younger, I did. When I was a, when I was a child. Mm. Mm -hmm. What's your opinion of independent Scotland? <laughs> now the nice questions are over. Oh my mm. goodness. I think Go on, really make all your friends and family angry. Go. Well, it's, it's a really difficult question, um, I think, to answer in such a public way. I wouldn't public. normally. You How YouTube's not public. <laughs> However, I would say... We can say block the video from Scotland, you know, if you want. <laughs> Don't to, it's possible. Yes, maybe. Just mm -hmm. for my mum. <laughs> Just for Glasgow. No, um, I think actually that we're better together. I'm very, I'm proud to be British. I'm proud to be Scottish as well. Mm. Um, but if somebody but calls you English, how do you react? Uh, I'm not English, I'm Scottish. Exactly. No, no. I'm Glaswegian. <laughs> <laughs> but it's a bit Scottish, Glaswegian, you don't really have like yeah, a good rep. Yeah, no, mm. I, I, do th I do think that we're stronger together as a country. Mm. Um, but if it, if it comes to another vote, then as with Brexit, another mm. controversial Did you vote for one. Brexit? No, I didn't actually. No, surprise, surprise. No, I didn't. Mm. Uh, yeah. Intelligent people. Thank you for abandoning us, abandoning us <laughs> in Europe. Thank you very much. But um, of course, I will support the will of the people, YouTube mm -hmm. living in a democracy, and um, we'll see what happens. But uh, uh -huh. mm -hmm. at the moment, I, I feel that we're better together. And we're getting our vaccination. Yeah, absolutely. So yeah. I get mine tomorrow. So if this video doesn't come out, because I'm dead. So, what problems have you found during, well, after Brexit? I found some, but what have you specifically found? I've been here longer than you, so. Yeah, I, I was quite surprised, actually. So, I in some ways do somewhat of an unusual job in the sense that I work six months in one country, six months in another, between Italy, France and Austria. She's a gypsy. <laughs> Basically. Um, uh. So I think, you know, myself and a lot of people that I work with, we really took it for granted mm. that you're just able to do this so with the UK being part of the EU. And now? You can work in different countries mm. and, you know, everything's all, all sorted with your taxes and so on. Mm. Uh, now it's very difficult, this sort mm. of hopping around different countries. They don't seem to know what they want to do either in different countries. Yeah. it's, it's Explain it's, what happened, explain to the people what happened with your English car. Uh, so I have an English car, a right, well, a Scottish car, actually. Uh, it's a right-hand drive. A British drive, car. A British yeah. car. But actually, what is it, Ford? <laughs> it's a Ford, yes, a Ford. Don't even remember that. Is that America? Uh, I think so, yeah. Don't but remember. Really good car. I've always had Fords. I love them. And I hate the indicators on a Ford. Really? The noise goes through me, but go. <laughs> I digress. Um, and I've always had my car out with me in Europe while I've been working and, and living out here. Uh, and it's, it's never been a problem. You can have British insurance um, and so on, take it home once a year for an MOT and, and what have you. Mm -hmm. But now with Brexit, um, being a resident of Italy, which I am now, thankfully, mm -hmm. uh, I can't drive a British car anymore. So I'm in the process of getting... But you've forgotten how. <laughs> You've nope. forgotten how to drive well, a British car. I've been told I can't you just do anymore. This. I need to get an Italian driving license is the first thing. Ah, I have one of them. Do you? Yeah. yeah I have like residency it. in Milan. My identity card is from Brescia. And my driving license is from Varese. So I am three provinces. Wow. I'm proud to be three parts of Italy. Yeah, that's mm -hmm. fantastic. I uh, wish I even just had one of those. Uh, but <laughs> you can get it, it's not difficult. I'll give um, you the contact later. But it's really difficult now. They, they, they were exchanging driving licenses, the mm -hmm. Italian government with the UK, and you could just pay a fee and swap it. But on the 28th of April, I think it was this year, they have stopped swapping licenses. Uh, so I did at it just the before. moment, uh, if I want to get an Italian license, I have to sit my test again in Italian, theory and practical, and do a minimum of six hours with a driving instructor. Well, they, they drive badly in Italy anyway. So well, that's what I thought, you know, but anyway. You'd definitely be better than them anyway. <laughs> Uh, don't worry, you'll yeah. pass, you'll pass, you'll pass. Um, mm -hmm. So I'm not sure what's happening at the moment. Just now I can drive for a year for mm -hmm. my British licence. So I'm in the process of... Um, but the woman told you that you couldn't drive. She did, yeah. A lady that I had helping me um, from an agency here, she told me I couldn't drive. So mm -hmm. I had my boyfriend driving me around everywhere for the last it's two months. It's her excuse, you just wanted him to drive you around, <laughs> I hate driving in Does he have a little hat and everything? <laughs> so yeah. James Jackal. My, my mm -hmm. personal chauffeur, yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, and it turns out she was wrong and actually I, surprise, can, surprise. I can drive. Um, so oh. now, uh, unfortunately I can't drive my own car at the moment because I'm in the process of getting the Italian. But illegally you can drive a car yes. which is on totally on the wrong side. 
Legally, yes. Not legally, I mean, yeah. yeah. Did yeah. I say illegally? Yeah. Uh, I don't know what date it is. <laughs> so, legally, you can drive a car which is completely mirrored in it. Well, the pedals are the same, the gear stick the same. Yeah. You can drive this, but not your own car. Yeah, at the moment. That's really intelligent. At the moment, because mm -hmm. I'm, I'm getting my car registered in Italy and mm -hmm. the process takes time. I've got to change the lights and, and so but on. But you think it would let you use your car? A lot more sensible. Yeah. A lot less dangerous. I know. Mm -hmm. So I'm driving on the left now. It's, it's a lot to get used to, mm -hmm. but we're getting there. Okay, another question, a nice light question. Mm -hmm. Again from Kelly. Uh huh. Willie the groundskeeper from The <laughs> Simpsons. <laughs> Kelly with her very serious questions. <laughs> What's his reputation in Scotland? Do you like him? Do you think he's a good representation of a Scottish person? Um, well, I actually, I have to say, I don't know too much about The Simpsons, really. It wasn't something I, I watched like when either. I was growing up. Yeah, mm. but I don't, I think he's maybe not the best. Um, he doesn't represent Scotland. A naked, muscular way. gardener who's ginger. Yeah, and he's always very angry, isn't he? Well, Scottish people uh, are always angry. No, though, that's not true. It's a very... Uh, very I've, never seen a, I've never seen a TV programme with a, a happy Scottish person. Mm. Yeah, they're always portrayed as being angry or mm. aggressive, I think. But most of the time when you speak to foreign people who visited Scotland, they always comment on how friendly Scottish people are. <laughs> because so. they're in shock, because they think they're really... <laughs> hey, it's like you're something really, really bad. It makes them seem better. Yeah. And many people don't realise that Sean Connery is Scottish, which I think is yes. fantastic. Because yeah. was, you only hear him in... I was, yeah. yeah. You only hear him dubbed all the time in this country. Yeah, mm -hmm. absolutely. So no, in that sense, I don't think Willie, the groundskeeper, is a good it's not a representation. representation. No, no, I don't mm. think so. Yes, yeah, so I was talking to my boyfriend actually um, about what they do in Italy when programs are dubbed to show a change of a change of accent, like mm -hmm. Willie, the groundskeeper. And he actually said it was Sardinian that they. Oh, ah, okay, he's a Sardinian characters. accent. Yeah. My cousin, who's British, her husband is Sardinian. Maybe he has the same accent. Okay. Have to check. Yeah. Have to check. A question from the crew. Okay, <laughs> because the producer, let's say. <laughs> We went to Scotland, mm -hmm. and after six o'clock, they wanted to eat. They all wanted oh. to eat, and we were out. No one was serving food. How can you eat after six or seven o'clock at night? Can be a bit of an issue sometimes. I think certainly in Scotland, we generally eat dinner a bit earlier than you do in mm. Italy. I know in Italy, some people eat nine, ten o'clock at night, even sometimes after that. In Scotland, dinner is usually around five thirty, six o'clock yeah, like for Manchester, most people. Yeah. Sometimes a bit later if it's a more formal dinner. Um, but yeah, it's a difficult one. Like if you go to a nightclub or even just a bar for drinks, something like that, mm -hmm. um, your option for food when you come out is probably a kebab shop or fish and chips. So, a kebab. <laughs> <laughs> fish and chips is not bad though. Eh? Yeah, mm. or, a, or a deep fried pizza. Pizza crunchy, as we call it in Scotland. Do you not do the deep, the, the fried Mars bars? Fried Mars bars as well. Oh yeah, that yeah. in Scotland. Yeah. That is the most disgusting sounding thing, but it's actually delicious. It is. It's the perfect combination between mm. sweet and savoury, mm. I think. And what about other Scottish food? Scottish food. Scottish There's haggis, food. okay. Yeah, haggis, mm -hmm. which is sheep's offal, oats and suet. Basically, it's like spicy sausage. It's disgusting. I, I only tried it once, I'm vegetarian, oh before I was vegetarian. It's not something I eat often, but I think as a Scottish person, we're programmed to be offended when someone says it's that It's awful, it tastes, it tastes like a cigarette. Do you think so? No. no Have I, you ever eaten a cigarette? No, absolutely Try. not. My goodness. <laughs> See if it's but, the same. Um, so what no, else, really apart from it. haggis, what else is there? there must um, be something. Well, one of my favourite foods that I miss, not just being here in Italy, but even if I spend time in England, is square sausage. Square sausage. Square sausage, exactly what it sounds like. It's a sausage and it's square. A bit mm. like a burger, and we have it in a roll, a morning, a Scottish morning roll. You have a square roll. sausage in a roll. Square sausage in a round roll, yes. And there's a lot of different names for it. I call it square sausage. Mm. Some people call it square slice. Mm -hmm. uh, in a roll, and it's just a very popular breakfast roll, I guess. But what is it? Is it like a square? Is it yeah. with a hole in the middle? No. <laughs> hole in middle? <laughs> with a hole in the middle? With no, a hole there's no hole in the middle. It's like a burger, really. But ah, it's, so it's square. a burger, but it's well, no. a sausage burger. No, it's a, it's a square sausage. Lorn, they call it. Lorn sausage. It's a square burger. No, it's not a square burger. It's a burger it? made. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we've just destroyed a nice traditional food uh, in Scotland. Anything else, food wise? Um, no. Well, drinks wise. Ah, go on then. Iron brew. Iron brew, fantastic. Iron, iron. brew for anyone. I didn't know that was Scottish. Oh my goodness. I'm yeah. from Manchester. Manchester is not far from Scotland. It's our national drink, I'd say. Your national Apart drink. Apart from Buckfast <laughs> and tenants. <laughs> oh, tenants, okay. Yeah. But um, iron brew is very nice. Yeah. Non, non alcoholic, you know. Yeah. What, is it, what is it? What does it taste of? It's it's very sweet. It's quite it's quite difficult. A lot mm. of people. I like my the taste, but I don't know what it tastes of. Italian friends have said it's quite like Red Bull. 
mm. which I think doesn't really do it justice. No. But it's very sweet in the same way that Red Bull is. Mm -hmm. It's bright orange um, in colour. You can see it in the dark. And I do believe there are only two countries in the world where Coca-Cola is not the most popular soft drink. And Scotland is one of them with Iron Brew. And the other is. <laughs> <laughs> and the other, you can look and you can find out and write it in the comments below. Yeah, somewhere, yeah. somewhere in Asia, I think. Ah, okay. Maybe South Korea, somewhere like that. Probably, yeah. They drink all this sweat stuff. All oh, right, okay. <laughs> it's, called, it's called sweat. Oh, that's in Japan. Maybe in Korea they have the same thing. Uh, I don't think it's actually sweat, but it's written something sweat. I don't know what it is. So, okay. next question. Why do Scottish men wear kilts? That is a very good question. I don't know the, the history behind it, but certainly a kilt is something in Scotland that men wear to formal occasions. So it's not a costume? It's absolutely not a costume. I feel like I'm saying that to everybody no, well, in Italy every I'm only day. saying that to make you respond. <laughs> in Ireland, people also, Irish people yeah. also wear kilts. Yeah. It's not only Scottish, but okay. Look on. Yeah. Um, mm, Tell, yeah. tell us more. And yeah, so it's, it's not a costume, um, despite what a lot of Italians might think. So Halloween. Like Italian family included, if you're watching. Mm -hmm. And um, it's something that we wear to formal occasions, weddings, parties, and um, Kayleys. It's like a, a big Scottish dance where you have a band playing, accordion mm -hmm. and other instruments, and we do... Um, and people jumping about. Scottish country dancing, yeah. Mm -hmm. And it's traditional in Scotland that you don't wear anything under your kilt. It's also in Ireland, I think. In Ireland, it's a bit drafty, but... Yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. Have you tried? Have you worn a kilt? Yeah. yeah. But in yeah. Scotland, it's probably colder than in Ireland, I'm guessing. If you're up in the Highlands. Oh, maybe, yeah, maybe in the Highlands On top of a mountain. Colder. Yeah, on top of Ben Nevis Wouldn't or something. Wouldn't suggest it if you're a man. Mm. Uh -huh. Yeah. And then on the front of the, of the kilt, you have a little bag called the Sporin. Mm -hmm. A man bag. A basically. man bag, yeah. Of <laughs> course, you can keep your phone in there, uh -huh. that kind of thing. It helps to protect you and also to stop the... Stop so you having a Marilyn Monroe moment. And there's all different, all different patterns. So mm -hmm. the pattern that you see on the kilt is called tartan. It's mm -hmm. all different types of tartan and they are associated with different clans in Scotland. And what's your colour? Uh, so my colour is very similar to the Black Watch. Uh, mm -hmm. It's dark blue and Not green. Black Watch? No, the Black Watch is, a, is a, one of the most common uh, colours of tartan in Scotland. And it's dark blue and green? green. Yeah. Ah, okay. Dark nice. blue and green. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You have to send us a picture and we can put it here. Yeah, or somewhere. absolutely. Put it around us. Yeah. And to finish off, in your opinion, what are the main differences between Scotland and England? Forget Wales, they're not important. I love you Wales, you're not far from Manchester. Well, <laughs> I'm joking, because she's Scottish, I'm English. That is a really good question. Well, I suppose the obvious one is the accent. We have completely different It's accents. different. I thought we were speaking exactly the same. Well, the same language, yeah, but I'm different. Different <laughs> Oh, right, sorry. <laughs> um, very different The sense accents. of humour is different. That's yeah, okay. Yeah. Very different no, accents. Mm. Um, In fact, accents. Okay, accents. Okay. Accents, yeah. Mm -hmm. um, Only this. Yeah. I don't know. A lot of people say that um, people in Scotland are friendlier than people in England, but. Uh -huh. I don't know, I wouldn't want to annoy anyone by saying that, but... Could wouldn't annoy me? <laughs> no, no, fine. No, it depends, yeah. Could be yeah. Especially in the south of England, people are less friendly than in the north. Mm. From Manchester on, we get friendlier, yeah? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Thank you very much, Lindsay, and we'll see you next time.